And this week we heard from several world leaders condemning the Defense Department's quiet release of the Nuclear Posture Review, stating that not only is the U.S. interested in modernizing existing ICBMs, cruise missiles and the like, but also to increase America's stockpile of nuclear warheads. Joining me now to discuss this is Greg Mello. He's the director of the Los Alamos Study Group. Thanks for being with us today, Greg. Um, so let me start with this. The, the Nuclear Posture Review has been criticized by experts and world leaders as both making America more dependent on nukes and also bringing the world closer to an actual nuclear war. The American mainstream media has largely ignored this topic altogether, and when they do address it, they make the NPR sound like, like it's some sort of sound policy. What are your thoughts on that? Well, the Trump nuclear posture review uh, showcases American nuclear weapons and really um, brings them into the context of conventional war in a way that's very uncomfortable uh, for Americans and uh, some Americans at least and people around the world. Some of these policies are of long standing, but what's new is they're being highlighted and they're being highlighted in a context of superpower adversarial relationships. So the overall context is bad and the, uh, the idea to develop low yield nuclear weapons and bring them uh, forward as a possible response to uh, reversals in conventional war uh, is worrisome indeed. Well, the NPR also seems to reflect a, a more hostile stance towards uh, Russia, citing that Russian nuclear capacity as a threat. But how credible is that? Because you yourself have said that this approach uh, is an attempt to uh, conquer and break Russia. Can you explain what that means? Yes. Um, the idea behind this document and the other policy documents which were released at about the same time is one of geopolitical competition with Russia and China. The idea is not st strategic stability, as many Americans might understand, but the ability to apply pressure to Russia uh, to basically win uh, the new Cold War, which many people in this administration and also in the Obama administration were all too happy to ramp up. So the idea is that the United States should be the world hegemon. Uh, we, they don't use that word, but uh, it, America's a exceptional country. We should basically be in charge of what happens. So um, Russian nuclear weapons are seen as a barrier to that, uh, as a threat to our expeditionary forces abroad, which of course are in the near abroad of Russia. Now, Greg, legal experts have said that the that this new uh, NPR violates the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty that went into effect back in 1970. Can you tell us which which way or which other way this NPR uh, might be illegal mm. or under under international law? The United States has had a complicated relationship with the NPT, even though it was our idea in the first place. Um, it requires the nuclear powers, that's the five original NPT nuclear powers, to disarm gradually of uh, good faith negotiations leading to nuclear disarmament. Uh, we're not doing that um, at all, and it calls for an end to the nuclear arms race. This is the opposite. This is uh, building up a nuclear arms race. All right, we have to leave that right there. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. Greg Mello, director of the Los Alamos Study Group.